Welcome in to another episode of the Delco Duo. I'm one half of the Delco Duo, Monica Cryan. And I'm Jenna Meisner. So happy that you're with us on your Labor Day weekend. Wow. We and might have a smaller audience this evening because I'm sure a lot of people are soaking up the last unofficial weekend of summer. Saturday and it's football Saturday. A lot of colleges. Mm, it's so back. I, I think a lot of college football games are wrapping up right now. Like there might be like some tie games still going on. I have on. to say I have missed the college game day song. Yeah. We are coming to your sit day. Oh. <laughs> oh, trust me, my husband. We will be now listening to that soundtrack for the next however long college football like, lasts. The Home Depot yes. like logo everywhere. Yes. I do love that song. 9 a.m. Saturday mornings. It is blasting through our house, so I will be listening to it. I don't. I don't like like you know just really supporting other TV shows on other channels, but College Game Day. 9 a.m. on Saturday, we're not competing with anyone. Wow. The Delco Duo is definitely not a 9 a.m. show. I, I, I love I love starting it off at 9 a.m. I can't watch the whole thing. It's hours and mm-hmm. hours, but then at noon, when they go through all the games so quickly, and they're like, I think this team's going to win. I think this Oh, the picks. You I, like the picks. The picks. I am watching so yeah. intently. I'm like, Well, you on. also love college football. You, I, I feel like it. you love college football more than the NFL sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I love, I love Eagles. I love Eagles, NFL football, but I love college. I love all the games. I can't even believe football. we're talking about this. Let's get to the debrief because that's what we're debriefing about. It's Labor Day weekend. Labor Day and also quick shout out to my hubby. Happy birthday today. Happy birthday, Eugene. Unfortunately, Monica can't give you the gift of compl- not complaining about you because I think a little bit later on in the show, oh, I, yeah. I, uh, I'm i very eager to hear what's going on in your world. But happy birthday to Eugene, as always a victim of the Delco duo. Always a victim. So I probably should give him a break today since it is his birthday, but no, I'm going in on him You're today. Going in. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, so this is this is the ultimate birthday celebration. It is Saturday. It is his birthday. It is Penn State kickoff <laughs> to I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. He's and living his dream. You're dressed for fall. I have I I told you I was I'm over summer clothing. I'm over summer. You're ready. You're ready to move forward. I don't know. I, I really, I think I really enjoyed this summer. I had a nice summer. I love that you loved this summer. I did really like this summer. I think just because compared to last summer when I had a newborn and, you know, times are tough when you're yes. adjusting to parenthood. I think last summer for me was like a bit overwhelming. Okay. So I was really able to enjoy this summer. I think at one point I had said it was a, a few months ago or maybe like a year ago, I kind of told you I felt like I was in my renaissance. Yeah. I don't feel that way anymore. <laughs> Uh, you felt like you had everything under control yeah, like and I'm, then summer really just threw yeah, a curveball. Like, I'm like back in like a rut kind of. That's okay. <laughs> We're here for you the ruts. ebbs and flows. Yeah. Um, but you're in your little renaissance. You're feeling it. Okay. If you want to call it that. I mean, for you. We're, we're definitely still in wait a until now one year old. Kid. Just wait until you have your second kid. That- <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Let's get to our issues of the evening. Monica got a lot of good ones. Mm-hmm. And this is a special shout out from a gentleman that I met at a wedding. Dan from Drexel Hill. Act- yes. That's his actual name. And he's actually from Drexel Hill. Right. Um, so I this met him. This is not his issue, though. No, this is not his issue. You, but I told him that I would use his alliteration for our show because it was perfect. And Damn him and his wife Hill. were so nice. So so great to meet you. Thanks for watching the Delco duo. Okay. And there's your little shout out. Little shout out. That this, again, this is not his issue. My wife accuses me of wasting water when I take a relaxing half hour shower. So does, does Tate do this? Because my husband does this. So I, again, I'm I'm throwing him. I, I don't care. It's your birthday. I'm throwing you. He doesn't have under the, the bus. he doesn't have the liberty to do this because he's a morning shower. Mm-hmm. I'm an evening shower. So okay. I th- I feel like you're either one or the other. You're not, you know. And since I'm at work in the mornings, mm-hmm. he's trying to get ready for work while also watching okay. our son. Yeah. So he has to be in and out because while he's taking this shower, Cruz is just tearing apart the bathroom, <laughs> opening the cabinets, taking things out. So he's got to be quick. <laughs> that is that is a very rushed shower. But what about a Saturday morning when you're there and he has... No, he has always been an efficient uh, showerer. Eugene gets it. He reads books on his phone or he'll listen to podcasts in the shower. How, how does he read books on his phone in the shower? Oh, yeah. He, he holds it out of the... He holds it out and he just... 
he'll stand there as the woman oh, has no. kids on his back. <laughs> no. And he, no. 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 Half hour. 40 minutes. So do I'm you like, feel, do you relate? I relate. I'm like, you're wait. Not only, I don't even think about it as wasting water. I'm like, our, our heating bill. Because it takes like, you got to heat the water. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's, why doesn't aqua, he just take a bath? He, why doesn't he just fill a bath and read his... Because, uh, like, our, our bath situation isn't that... Like, we've got, like, this one of those, like, jet tubs. It's, yeah. like, crazy. He's like, I'm not going to fill up the whole jet tub. Like, I'm just going to sit... I'm just going to stand in the shower. And actually, they do. They say, like, a 20-minute shower yeah. is less water than a tub. Oh, okay. When you... It, it, it say, when you shower... Now, it's, it can't be like a 40-minute shower. A 30 to 40-minute shower, I, I was looking this up. A 30 to like 40-minute shower, now you are starting to take up more gallons. Mm-hmm. of. But like a 20-minute to 25, yes. you still are using less water than you would. See, so, I think I'm the husband in this scenario. So since I shower in the evening, as soon as we're done with dinner, um, T and Cruz will go play outside or with his toys or whatnot, and I go up to take a shower. Yeah. And that is just my sort of like... <sighs> okay. okay, Tate's home. He can take over a little bit. And I, yeah, I'll be like 30 minutes probably. Dan, what I have to say to you is if that, Enjoy it. If that is how you relax, Enjoy tell it. your wife, that's how I relax, leave me alone. Now, if you are relaxing in other ways, uh, for instance, you sit on the toilet and you scroll. Uh, we know a lot of husbands do that. Mm-hmm. A lot of husbands do do that. We, that's a big problem. And I see it on Instagram. A lot of women complain. But you what's know, the difference? But I'm saying you can't do that in addition to. Oh, okay. So you you've got cannot. one mode of relaxation. One mode. <laughs> Either yeah, on the one, toilet scrolling yeah. or in the shower. One or the other, Dan. So you cannot sit on the toilet and scroll. Basically what you're saying is you can be in the bathroom, mm-hmm. but it's only one or the other. One or the other. Okay. I, I sort of agree with that. Okay. I, I The whole wasting water, though, like... Yeah. That... That to me, I feel like there's so many different ways you waste water in the house. Like I know when I'm cleaning up from dinner, I sort of just sometimes will leave the sink running and I'm like moving around. You don't think about like dishes. You don't think about like the polar bears, the ice. I love the polar bears. <laughs> you don't think about like. But the polar bears and the ice caps, what's that have to do with? Like, you know, like our, our, but, our water levels. Isn't that levels. more of a climate issue? Yeah, like, a, like a climate issue. I don't think no. my sink in Delco, PA is impacting the polar bears in oh, okay. Antarctica. Yeah, no, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think about that either, but I think about like my aqua bill. Yeah. My Pico bill. Yeah. I'm just like, Hey, can we find Let's a more do, like, energy efficient way, way to, to relax? relax. Yeah. Yes. Go, go on a recliner. Yeah. I, at that point take I am like, take sit, a nap, sit on the toilet. That takes up no energy, <laughs> <laughs> no energy <laughs> used sitting on that porcelain oh, throne. God. Oh God. That's just, I don't need to picture everyone's husband sitting sitting on the toilet just yeah, but scrolling Dan, on the phone. What I would say is if that is your way of relaxing, tell your wife, um, I'm sure she's got a way of relaxing too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, good solution there. Again, uh, coming up next, we've got our second issue of the evening. We solved one. Yeah, we did, but this is, this is an interesting one that gets really, really complex. Okay. So make sure you stay with us. We're going to need like the whole segment to kind of break it down. Okay. Stay with us. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Our um, director has somewhere to be, apparently. It's Labor Day weekend, and we are moving through. That was another from Dan from Drexel Hill. When we were talking, he asked me, so how long, you know, does it take to film the show? And I said, what you see is what it is. It yes. go, we go straight through. So what you see is what you get. Yeah, uh, we don't mess up. And if <laughs> no, we, we do, do mess we, up. we do mess up. We're perfect. We just don't ever say, oh, you know, let's re- try it again. Retape. No, nope. we move on. All right, move on to the second issue of the evening because apparently this is very complex, Monica. Okay, we've got Molly from Media. Shout out to Media. Woo woo! Um, and Molly, I know a Molly from Media too. So uh, My daughter is headed to college this month. A couple of days ago, I got a call from her new roommate's mother asking me to split the cost of a dorm room makeover. This sounds crazy to me, but I don't want to upset my daughter who doesn't want to say no. I... I really, I can't. This has got to be a Southern school. It's, she's got to go to like she, Alabama. She's or, going to SMU. <laughs> she's going to Southern Methodist. Everything, everything's monogrammed. 
the pillows, I, the or curtains. The, like, or like the neon lights, their names in neon lights. I mean, I'm just so happy that I'm not going I'm to so college happy. and living in a dorm in today's environment. It's insane. Okay. Insane. So I, I think we have a picture or like a video if you are not aware of like some of these rooms. I mean, this Gorgeous. is just the start. Like, this is nice, but this isn't even the half of it. So, you, like, right, see this? Okay, wait. Who has that much? I guess the ceilings were pretty high if Look I'm thinking this. back. This is what I'm saying. And see how nice it is? Like, these are really, really nice. Stunning. Some of it is that you can hire companies now to go into your room to decorate it. So, I actually knew a girl from high school, and I think she had a company called, like, 13th floor or something like she whatever floor she was on for her college yeah. she tried it I don't know actually how it ended up doing but she tried to be that like interior, interior designing for dorm mm. rooms and like making custom because like dorm rooms are weird like the bed skirts are weird the the sizing of things are really weird in a yes. dorm because it's like it's not normal um and she made like custom that was like her company which I guess now and back when she posted that I was like that's kind of a silly idea. Like, who's really going to use that? And now here we are in 2024, and that has really just, like, taken off. You know who's going to use it? Kaylee Lynn, Bailey Lynn, and Baby B. B. Lynn in Southern Methodist. As and they're Russian. As they're Russian, they're sororities. They're Russian, they're sororities, and, the ba and they're t taping their TikToks in their beautiful rooms. I mean, I love it. I I'm here for it. Now, I watch it. I, I watch think you can do it without having to hire... A dorm room makeover I think you can do it yourself it'll be costly but I don't think you spend that money buying the things don't spend the money on somebody to tell you what to buy I, I guess, know if that makes have sense. you been to home goods you can find all of that stuff at home goods I mean you really can but my walls were like concrete like brick yes like so how did like those walls look different in those like how are you hanging pictures well I'm telling you some of these some of these dorm rooms nowadays are much different than when yeah. we were there ours were like a jail cell like look jail. at that wall is not my wall my oh. wall was literally concrete not my wall, <laughs> <laughs> not my wall. <laughs> mine was concrete like I looked like I was getting served oh my god look at those lights I just I really I look they they the lost couch. it well, I think it's great, the rising. The rising of the beds is yeah, essential. Yeah, they use it for so much storage to put all of their millions that one's, of clothes. That one's manageable. This one, yeah. this one's mm, getting a little I, bit tougher. At first, I getting go, a little Chio. tougher. Chio, it's Kayo. Yes. <laughs> the sorority. Chio. But yeah, because people coordinate with their roommates now because like, they want it the beds to look the same, yes. the things over the bed to look Everything the same. Is so aesthetically pleasing. So here's what I Right would up do. my alley. I would do it if I was going back to college. I, would, I, I would wouldn't be. even entertain it because here's the problem. Even if you ask and you ask the mom, well, how much is this going to cost? Then what it all it does is it comes down to money and you don't want to act like you're the cheap one because it's not about the money. It's just the principle of it. You don't want an interior designer coming into your daughter's college room. That's, it's too much. That's too much to expect. But if you're going to these schools... I think it's. Exp I think that that it's normal. I think what you can say to the southern mom, bells, the southern bells. What you can say to the mom is, I don't really feel comfortable hiring a team of people to decorate our daughter's rooms. I am more comfortable with me and you teaming up and decorating our daughter's room. Why don't we take a trip to Home Goods together? Or if you guys aren't geographically able to, you guys can kind of decorate via Amazon. You know what I mean? Let's yeah. let's pick out a, a, a similar design. You guys can find things on Amazon that are great. You don't need a designer. You don't need a but designer. But also just like check in with your child. Like I know Tate, one of his best friends, my husband Tate, one of his best friends um, was from down south and they all went to school in North Carolina. And a, when they moved into their school, school his mom came and spent hours in his room everything his pillowcases his towels everything was monogrammed and like till this day he gets tortured by them for that because like they're like, monogram like all of his like just <laughs> like all the other guys like came with like a suitcase of clothes and they were like all right we're like we're yeah. here like let's go party and he's got like his monogram pillows right so like just check in like maybe your maybe your kid doesn't even want to do this it's right. like mom I don't even want the dorm room decor like yeah, but I, I think just like, yes, I'm willing to work with you, but I don't want to hire a team. Okay. Go to Home Goods. Home Goods. Or the Zanzan. All right.
Coming up next, um, Monica's issue, her birthday present to her husband. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. And welcome back. We were just talking dorm rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, the memories. Your, your, the names of your dorms, they all had numbers, like 1940, 1300. Yes. We had, um, we just had like names of ex-presidents. Pre- what was your freshman dorm name? Brumbaugh. Brumbaugh? Brumbaugh. That sounds like Hogwarts. Ha- ha- Harry <laughs> Potter, exactly. Gryffindor. Just- <laughs> Rumba. That sounds like... Okay. Pe- there was a Penny Packer, Oh, wizard, Harry. That's what yeah. that sounds like. I was... Uh, for my Penn Staters, I was in East. I remember East. I had, all that my, was where I had all so many friends were. at Penn State, and I rem- remember East. Yeah, Brumba was... Uh, uh, the sharing of the bathrooms, yeah. the shower shoes. It's... Essential. It's... it's <laughs> dorm rooms are kind of like prison. They really... They it's are, sort but of like... like it, it, it I grows. see many you comparisons. I mean, I've never been to prison, but I see the comparisons. Oh, my God. And then the food. The food. <laughs> you cut... You, you get sick, you get food poisoning once or twice. You learn a lot about yourself. You do. For your freshman you year of college. Uh, I love it. Shout out to my Brumba B-I-T-C-S. Okay. Let's get That's what we call each other. Your Brumba B-I-T-C-S. What's my thing? about? You can spell it. You definitely can't say it. I can't I don't know if you can spell it either, but. No, I wouldn't. You did this it. A, so a, here we are. This is a family show, 1130 on a Saturday night. This is a family show. All right. Uh, so what is Monica crying about? I had to call my husband and say, can I? I, I overheard this conversation. Can I talk about this? Because we were at odds. So the other night we're hanging with friends. And have you heard of these new things? There's always something new on the market. Zin. Yeah. Eugene had a Zin pouch. It's, yeah, it's like you put it in, it's like dipping almost. Yes! Like you put it in your lip. Yeah, I know what that he is. Yeah, had a Zin pouch. And I was like, what is that? We do not do that <laughs> in this family. <laughs> okay. I look it up. It's nicotine. I feel like I'm having a conversation with my mother right now. <laughs> I, the sweater I just, is really adding to this. Shut up. I, I did not appreciate it. Okay. Sorry. I I'll take this not, seriously. I don't know what it is. It's like a cigarette. It's so like a cig- it, we don't smoke. So we don't smoke. Picture dip. Yeah. It's I, oh, uh, yeah. It's we don't a, dip either. Yes, but that's essentially comes in like a tin. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Wait. Okay. How long have you known about Zin? And why the can't I keep up with the amount of nicotine products? I think I learned about Zin maybe a year ago. My friend's husband. Same thing. She she had she had sent some sort of text message in our group chat like, can you bring Zin here? So it sounded like a very scary drug. I was like, what yes. is Zin? What like, is Zin? The way she asked, like I forget if it was like, can you fly with? It was something you like, like my lower. What is Zin? What is I, Zin? Oh, like a sin. <laughs> yes, I get it. It is a sin. That's funny. It is a um, sin. She had asked something about like, can you just do this with Zin? And I was like, what the heck is she talking about? So yeah, so um, I do know some of my friends' husbands who. Who, you, who do it? Who do it? I guess like it's not okay. like it's not a it's not a scary drug by any means. But well, you're making it sound a lot scarier than it is. Well, I I don't. I mean nicotine I at all. Anything addictive? It's addictive. It is addictive. It's addictive. It's addictive. And that's what I didn't like about it because yeah, it's like one of those things. It's like oh when though. when you're drinking. That's what I mean. Mm-mm. Like what was the. Mm-mm. So you yeah, just, we're out having you fun. You just looked over and you noticed that he had something. Yeah, like the, the, the guys were doing it. And I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> so they were passing this around mm-hmm. and they were, okay. And, and I was like, don't do that. What were the other wives doing? I just, I, like, don't, I don't even know if anybody really knew what this was. I think that's the <laughs> thing is, it's like this new thing. And I'm like, what is this? And I just, you know, like a little across my mind, like, is that a drug? Is that a drug? It's, no. a, it's a nicotine it's, product. Yeah, it's, it's like a nicotine product. We've gone, we have gone through a progression. So we've had cigarettes. Right. And then there's like a jewel. jewel and vaping. Just, like, and now we're up. And now we're here at Zin. Zin. I don't like that. So. I don't like that. I don't appreciate it. Because okay. I don't know what it is. And also it, it can cause like gum disease. Yeah. It could cause many of issues. Uh-uh. So we're not going to do that. They're they're passing around the zin. Yeah, pass. it sounds so much worse than it is. But I think that's they're the passing, problem. They're is, passing around the zin. That's the problem. Is is like we keep trying to like downplay it, but it maybe it's bad. 
Maybe it's bad. We shouldn't be doing it. I haven't it. done enough research on it myself mm-hmm. to... Well, I immediately Googled it. I was like, what is this? And it says... So did you walk over and embarrass him in front of his friends? No, no, no. no. Oh, I thought you went up. I was like, you better take that out of your mouth. No, but I just later I on, I was like, hey, hun, just so you know, like I Googled this. It causes mouth disease. It is addictive. Did he, did Eugene know what it was? Yeah, yeah, no. So then he was probably I'm, I'm like, sure thanks for the Googling, but I don't I'm, really. I'm sure he's had it bef- like well before <laughs> this. And he was like, you sound ridiculous. So he was more so like, and we're out drinking. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. This is not something that I'm just casually, you know, doing mm-hmm. around the kids at home. You're right. Like this is just a one-off. Yes. And I, and I was like, I still, I just don't like that. Because okay. it's like, you wouldn't, you don't. We don't, you don't smoke Mm -hmm. when you drink Mm -hmm. anymore. (laughs) (laughs) So why are we doing this? So how did it end? And he's like, what was the resolve? You guys thought about it? Cause he didn't think it was a big deal. You thought it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, yeah, you can talk about it on the Delco Duo. You're going to sound like you're over like a naggy, a naggy wife. And I, I oh wait, so this was still on, like there was no resolution. No, the resolution is, is like, okay, I won't do it anymore. Okay. So then you won. Yeah. So problem avert. Crisis, but I just want to know, like, it. what? And yeah, like, but do I sound crazy or am I? Am I, I just don't. No. I just it, it it it's a nicotine product. <laughs> right. Well, let's talk about this more in the commercial. <laughs> They're moving us <laughs> along. So who just surpassed Boeing as the number one employer in Delco? It's Delco trivia. We have that answer coming up. <laughs> All right, who just surpassed Boeing as the number one employer in Delco? And this is in honor of Labor Day. All the laborers All out the there. All the laborers. Where are they laboring at most in Delco? Villanova. Villanova. This is really surprising to me. So surprising. I don't think there's a lot of laboring at Villanova. <laughs> but I just, well, this is recent because last year it was Boeing. Yep, because we were talking about that. Um, Labor Day last. And now, and Villanova was in second place, and now Villanova has surpassed. And other. I wonder why. What's going on at Boeing that could be causing. Monica's about to be. <laughs> Don't come after me, Boeing. Um, okay. They've got some issues. I didn't issue. say anything. They've got some issues. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> so I think they've probably lost, have lost some employees. <laughs> um, How? Well, but the other corporations in the top 10, like I love like giant, giant food store. Wow. I, in Delco, one of the top 10 places. Like I love the giant employees. Um, we love there's, shopping there's there. There's a couple. Uh, I know a Kevin. What's, um, what's the robot's name? Marty. Actually, Marty. He doesn't count, I don't think. He's not. I a, think you got to be human to count. Um, Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. Wait, where? Jo- uh, these, are, giant, these are the giant, giant guys that I love. Okay. Uh, UPS. UPS. SAP. 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 That's ob- that's obvious though. Their buildings are ginormous. Ginormous, and I think they- Upper Darby School I think District. They pay well. <laughs> hey yo, SAP. You want to go work? <laughs> what do they even do? Are they accountants? I think I they're thought, accountants. Is it? What? I think they do like oh, your, your taxes. Look it up. We got thirty seconds. All right, you tell them. Uh, but we- in the in the time being, Delco do at phl seventeen Oh yeah, you know that they is pay the nice. best way. Why hey, did you know, I think they were good. accounting? That is the best way to reach us. All of your issues, if you just want to talk with us, give us your opinion, your thoughts, all that good stuff. If you want to tell us more about zinning, we're we're open to it all. Apparently, I'm a granny. Sorry. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. Yes. Happy birthday, Eugene. Love you.